Good morning, hello. It is the second day, but like the first kind of full day of programming. Yesterday we got badges, did a few little events, but today is like a full stack day. I was up at 6.30, had breakfast, and now we are going on a cultural tour. So we're all loading up on these buses, and we're gonna be going around to like, I think like mosques and stuff like that. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And then in the afternoon, I'm gonna be speaking. We're at the Abrahamic family house where they have three different religious spaces. So there is a Christian church, there is a Jewish synagogue, and there is a mosque. And it's so interesting bringing all of the religious spaces together. It's so beautiful, the designs of all the environments and learning about the history. Right now we're standing on a rooftop and from this rooftop you can see all three religious houses and it's about unity and like bringing it all together and I just think it's so beautiful, such a like important message. We're now at another mosque. It has space for 60,000 worshippers. It took 11 years to build and the carpet inside took two years to make. Crazy. It's all gold and white, very grand. Apparently it's very beautiful. What's really cool is the um, marble floor here. There's a gap between the slabs of marble because in the summer they expand and connect. And also when it rains, it allows it to like drain through. Such a cool design. They've got Tim Hortons in Abu Dhabi and at the Dubai Mall. But it's like fancy Tim Hortons. Like it's not an authentic experience. These are bougie, nice Tim Hortons. Never heard of that before. I'm in the green room. We are back from our cultural tour. It's a little hairy there for a second. <laughs> it was like an hour late. I was like, I have got to get back. I am speaking. <laughs> and um, I like was like sweaty and I was not in the outfit that I wanted to wear. I need to eat and have some caffeine. I was like, oh my God. But we made it. We got back. I refreshed. Got a little glam touch up. I'm wearing this outfit that I've had for years and I've not gotten to wear it enough because I bought it during lockdown and so she just hasn't had a, like enough of a moment. So she's having it today. It's giving Chanel but it's not. It's uh, Kate Spade and I'm obsessed with it. It's glittery. It's like pastel colors. It's everything. So this is my outfit. I'm doing a panel for Cisco about inclusivity in business. So and of course I've got my glam cane. Glitter cane. Glitter dress. Sparkle shoes. I do have a sparkle purse. It's a whole glittery day. Can we do a level set and you share with our audience um, how you talk about you? So first off, I am speaking as one person. You know, the disability community is not a monolith. We are as diverse as any other community, and that's important to recognize, but I am somebody who would identify as being deeply entrenched in the disability rights movement, and so that is the lens that I am speaking from. And it's really interesting, as a blind woman, how many people are afraid to tell me I'm blind, <laughs> as if I am unaware. <laughs> and so they will be like, this is Molly, and she has trouble, would you say with sight? And I'm like, I would say blind. Yes, I would say I'm blind. Um, you're not diagnosing me, don't worry. I'm not shocked. I call it the B word. You know, people act like it's a slur or something and it's not. And when we avoid talking about the fact that I am disabled and I'm disabled because the world has created a space that is not inclusive of everybody who's trying to access it. When we avoid that conversation, we avoid creating the change that needs to be made. Speaking is over, it all went well, I've changed, and now we are out for the tasting of Abu Dhabi. There's seven restaurants, we just go in and out for tasting platters and cocktails. My mom said they're on stilts. It is windy out here, that is impressive. <laughs> I'm digging in. We got to the first restaurant. There's seven restaurants, all different cuisines, and they basically have tails. So we got a little tequila cocktail. We're at the waterfront. This is our new friend. This is our new friend. <laughs> Hello. We've already made a new friend. <laughs> and we're just having such a great time. I'm thinking Italian next. Yes. Oh, Italian next. Yeah. Okay. I can go for some Italian. Okay, you guys. So I just met Shania Twain, who's here <laughs> at the conference. And she was like, everybody's talking about you. And I was like, girl, if Shania Twain has heard about me, I think I did a good job. Oh my gosh. She's like, Everybody was talking about how inspiring you are and you were the best speaker and I was like, stop it Shania. <laughs> 
talk. She's so lovely. She's so she? sweet, so humble, so down, so down to earth. earth yeah. Just like totally normal, very Canadian vibes, you know? It's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah lovely. So that was fun. And now we're going to go eat at our third restaurant. I have Shania Twain stuck in my head. The best thing about. I have two gifts to open. I received this one after speaking. And then I received this one in the hotel room. I have no idea what it is, so let's see. What is it? I have to take my shoes off. I have blisters. <laughs> um, oh, look. Isn't that gorgeous? www.azel.me oh. Is it a bag? There's a strap. It looks like a belt, is it? No, it's a strap for a bag, I think. Oh. Maybe a laptop bag? like a work bag. Ah. Oh, it's so cool. Oh. No, can't see it. Well, I'll show you in the light of day tomorrow. But it's very beautiful. It's a laptop bag, I think. Mm -hmm. It's very tactile. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, it's a laptop bag. That is so cool. That's cool. Interesting. Yeah. That's fun. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. It's very textural. And that's from Experience Abu Dhabi. Yeah, so it must be like maybe an Abu Dhabi brand, mm -hmm. is my guess. Mm -hmm. And then we have this bag, which I believe. And Molly's been sleeping with Elton John's camel. Elton's camel and I have been besties. But I miss Elton so much, you guys. Truly, so much. So I believe this is a scarf. Emily Carter, London. Oh, <gasps> With an embroidered scarf with my name or something like that, I think. I got murmurings that that's what this is. Mm, this is Emily Carter. Oh. oh, yeah. It's in blues. My colors right now. Oh. <laughs> but does it say my name? Yeah, MB. Probably be beautiful with your denim suit. Very close oh, to... Oh, and those pinks and flowers and... It's beautiful. Elton would look so... <laughs> Elton's not getting that. Yeah, he is. If anyone gets that, that's me. Come on. That on Elton? <laughs> He'd look so cute. Uh -huh. That's gorgeous, actually. I am so sad that tomorrow is the last day because, oh my God, this has been so spectacular, so incredible. The amount of inspiring, empowering hard-working, entrepreneurial, creative, strong women in this space, like the energy is radiating. It just feels like this safe, uplifting space of support and love. And it's, it's been so incredible. Fantastic. Fantastic. Also, speaking of fantastic, this dress. <laughs> <laughs> She's been getting all the compliments. Look how cool this is. It like has a little, gem attached to the back <laughs> um so this is the look for the day and i realized we haven't shown you guys the hotel room and it's beautiful it's very messy right now because you know we've been here it's been a chaotic few days but here's some b-roll of the beautiful room here is some footage of the hotel room there is this beautiful simple earth tone piece of art above the two beds that has it looks like deer or camels on there it's a very tan, earth tone, warm room. The bathroom is shockingly very large for a hotel. There's a really beautiful bathtub. The floor is like a warm wood floor. There's a shower on the opposite side of the bathroom, which is very cool. And the balcony overlooks a green, green plants, palm trees. It's such a lovely room. I just met Mona, the founder of Kaoli, and she is just like the sweetest. I was like, if there's one person I meet while I am here, I want to meet Mona because I just think she's so beautiful, and wonderful, and talented, and sweet. And um, they were like, she's in and out. So I positioned myself. I was like, Let's get in there. And I like went backstage. I was like, yeah, speaker. Just like I went into the green room and I stood at the door where she would walk out. I was like a groupie, okay? And I was like, ooh, here I am, hello. Um, and so I got to meet her and she was just so sweet. Also, there was a bunch of fun stuff from both Huda and Kayali in the bag, 
but this is my favorite. I'm wearing it today. It is a scent I've never heard of from them. The boxes are so freaking beautiful, by the way, on these Kaoli perfumes. And as you guys know, I'm in my fragrance era. And this is it. It is the Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. It's this beautiful gold bottle. And at first I was like, oh, I haven't heard of this one. This isn't one I've been interested in trying. I was like a little disappointed that I didn't get one that I was like super excited about. And then I smelt it. This is so good. If you don't typically like patchouli, I think you'd still like this. It's amber, it's vanilla, it's patchouli, it's, it has oud. So I think the reason that they picked to put this one in out of all the fragrances is because this is a very Arabic fragrance. So it's like perfect for the environment. It smells like Dubai to me. It smells like Abu Dhabi to me. And I do love an oud, but it has to be the right oud. And the combination of oud, patchouli, amber, and vanilla in this is intoxicating. It is not overpowering. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed and I feel like I, I really wanted to get a fragrance while I was here, but I haven't found the right one. And it just walked into my life. It came to, it found me. And this will now be like the smell of my Forbes 30 under 30 Abu Dhabi experience and I'm obsessed. We have arrived. We have been driving for over an hour and we've come to the desert party, which we were like, oh, it's gonna be more casual. Mom, did we Yes. make a mistake? Maybe. <laughs> yes, maybe. I think it's dressy. Is it? Well, there's a red carpet me. Oh yeah, there's we a red carpet. Literally driving okay. <laughs> with a red carpet and I'm hearing the click clacking of high heels. Oh no. Okay, maybe yeah, we probably got this wrong. But I think we have gotten the wrong dress. But we want to go on a camel. Which is no, you are in the right dress. Code. Right dress. Yeah, for the camel. For the camel. Okay, go. I was like, am I meant to be in high no, heels? No, there's no, a red no, carpet no, no, no. opening I'm in this sneakers up. myself. You're in higher shoes than I am. Okay, you good. Are good. 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 Okay, great. Enjoy. Thank you. Here we are, Molly. We've got a shopping tote. There's gonna be a camel. <laughs> I am here for the camel. I'm gonna be honest. I'm here for the camel and the camel alone. I cannot wait to meet the camel. Uh, it's on a beach. It's kind of like they've created a mini sook, which is a market. So there's gonna be local vendors and food. I am so excited to explore. The vibes are great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Don't wanna walk into anything. Hello. I need a guide camel. A guide camel. I need oh, a guide yeah, camel. Yeah, that'd be nice, eh? Ooh, this is lovely. It's special. The weather's gorgeous too. Beautiful. Yeah. The vibes Hello. are immaculate already. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Mom, is this real life? <laughs> no. Is this real life? <laughs> this is so special. So cool. Everybody, like all the locals, are dressed in their traditional clothing and we are literally in the desert. This is the desert evening party. I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> I don't know if the gala tomorrow night will beat this. You guys, this is not even the coolest, like we're doing a gala tomorrow night for International Women's Day. This is crazy. All right, you guys, we're hunting down the camel. We're hunting down my future guide camel. Let's go find little Elton of the desert. Look at you, Molly. You who is afraid of birds. You guys, can you believe I just held a bird? I conquered my fear and I held a bird. And you know what, Queenie? Little Miss Queen was so sweet. And now I get to go meet a camel for the first time ever. I've never seen a camel, keep in mind. So this is very exciting. I have no idea what to expect. I'm expecting a horse with humps, but I can't <laughs> wait. This is Lamborghini, my new guide camel. Hello. I think he smells Elton on me. He keeps sniffing me. Don't you? Oh, sorry, Lamborghini. <laughs> Hello, my love. He's three years old, just like Elton. Oh, I can feel his breath. Oh, Scroogey behind the ears. Oh, Scroogey behind the ears. Yeah. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh my god, he's, he's laying down. <laughs> this one's Ferrari. Ferrari? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ferrari, I think, wants a pet, Molly. Over here? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Ferrari. Are you jealous? Because Lamborghini is getting all the love. I have a new favorite animal. I'm obsessed. Look, 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 look. It likes my toesies. They really like me, I'm telling you. I think we've got a connection. I just love you. You can, you can hug him. Can I ask you to take a picture? It's okay. Should we take a picture with Molly? Molly, may we take a picture with you, please? Oh, look. I love it. They just bit my hat off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, do it again. One more. Here, do it again. Do it again. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good boy. 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 Good
my good boy. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> 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 he says it's mine now. Oh my god, I love you. Oh, it's You're very, so silly. Look at the teeth. Very oh my silly. Gosh. <laughs> I am sitting. <laughs> Okay. Here we're seeing Molly ride these amazing, adorable camels. But what have you learned about finding a mentor at the summit? And what is one piece of advice you can offer the women in this room? Molly Brooks. It's a great question. It has been such an honor to be in this room with so many incredibly inspiring and powerful women. And honestly, for me, it has been so rejuvenating. I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like the start to 2024 has been a bit of a rocky one. And coming here has been both grounding and inspiring, so I want to thank all of you for that. It's been amazing. And I've enjoyed both feeling like I can mentor and I can learn and be a mentee. Yes. And it's been so fabulous getting to meet women of all ages where the age isn't determining who's mentoring who. Right, but the, the experience, and we're all learning from each other. So I, I think that's been what's most inspiring for me, and what I've learned is that it doesn't matter what age you are, anybody can mentor and be a mentee to anybody. What you say to younger women, or when you're engaging in conversation with your community um, about whether that feeling of, um, uh, sort of attack or uh, insecurity. What, how do you power through that? When it, it, the incoming is real for a lot of people on social media, in particular. You know, my my whole life has been curveballs. My whole life has been failure and overcoming those failures. Because ultimately, I live in a world that has not been created for my community to thrive. Every single day. I am still facing discrimination. Every single day, I still walk into environments where I go to pay for my coffee, and it's a touch screen that I can't access. I can't turn on the lights in the hotel rooms because they're touch screen. And that's my whole life. And so resilience is the only thing I have to tap into to keep fighting every day. And I did not always have that resilience. I absolutely hit that rock bottom where I said, do I want to keep living here in a world that has shown me it does not want me? And I said, I can choose to end it or I can choose to give myself one more chance. And I'm so glad I did. And giving myself that chance, I knew that I had to fight for my life. I had to fight for it to be good. Mm -hmm. And many years of therapy, reading all of the self-help books, working mind, body, soul, all of these things collectively come together. Final day of the conference. I am so sad. This has been both grounding and uplifting in all the best ways. It's been mind-blowing, honestly. I already can't wait for next year. This is my outfit. You guys know every event for me is my own personal fashion show. That's, that's how I treat it. This bag I got at one of the souks, one of the markets in Dubai, and it is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. This denim lace suit. Finding a funky suit, very difficult. Finding a suit that fits me, very difficult. This was my year 30 gift to myself. Yeah, I felt like 30 years old, I needed a suit, especially coming to an event like this. And then I got the gold heels little fun moment obsessed um, but I'm gonna change because it is sweltering today is the hottest day by far we have a lunch in about half an hour I just spoke on a panel with some of the most powerful women in the world it was the most intimidating thing I've ever done I don't know how this is my life and how I got to do that and be in this room and I'm just so honored um, and it's it's honestly been like a rough start to the year, 
and I really needed this to uplift me and like recenter myself. I feel so rejuvenated. So we are at the final lunch and it is decadent. They have gone all out with what they have. They literally have everything here. We know Neve Burke will be getting her lamb. There's, there's lamb. She cannot pass up lamb anywhere no. ever. No. But there's literally like seafood. Look at this fish. Bonnie cook. is a big fish with his mouth. And his body is huge, like it's going all the way around. I said seafood at the right time. Yes, you did. And then this, this is maybe salmon? I think it's salmon. I've eaten so much food. And where are you right now? At the International Women's? They know where I am. Oh, okay. It's halfway through. It's almost the end of the video, Nate. <laughs> they don't know where I am by now. I haven't done a very good job. Um, oh, I got a flower. Where's my flower? Uh, over here. For International Women's Day. And I'm having an assortment of desserts, including Turkish Delight. And oh my god. This is good. That's good stuff. What else do I have to try, Mom? Okay, so you've never seen anything like the cheesecake. I've never seen anything, correct? Well, you've never seen it. Okay, so it's so beautifully decorated. Where is and it? It's over here. This? This? Yeah. And then there's... Yeah, okay, let's try that. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever eaten. Yeah. And then try this. It's a like a mousse cake. I don't know what the name is, but try that. <laughs> and Stop it's, it right now. It's pink. And then, do you remember the dessert we had the other night? The like bread pudding? That's there. All of this? What's this? Is that the bread pudding? That looks amazing. It's like, um, it's, you know that flaky pastry? And then it looks like kind of meringues, maybe in cream in the middle. This plate? This is it. This is the it. The best That's ever. wild. I don't know why in North America we make desserts so sweet. None of this is super sweet. Hello. On the red carpet, Molly Bird. Here you go. Welcome to the official International Women's Day Gala at the Louvre <laughs> here in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> and I am feeling fabulous. My gala outfit, gold and black. My cane, you guys. How well does the cane oh, yes. go with this whole. And that is by. The dress is from We Malib. Right. I don't know who it's by. The cane is Glam Canes. Jeffrey Campbell shoes, Zara purse, anthropology hairband, aka my crown for the evening. Here we're seeing some footage of the room where the gala is. There's several of those really long sort of grand hall tables with gold chairs in the tables. Each of them have centerpieces going down the entire table of dark plum roses, orange roses, pink roses. It's a beautiful arrangement. I'm home. It is time to say goodbye to my cane and be reunited with Elton for the first time in 11 days. He better be excited, I swear to God. It's you! It's you! Oh, it's you! Oh, it's you! Oh, it's you! It's you! It's you! Oh my God! Oh, it's you! I miss you! I miss you too! Oh, oh I miss you too! Oh, I miss you! Oh, yes. This lavender just went back in the back. <laughs> you Hello. I missed you. Oh, I missed you. But Molly oh, met a camel that she fell in love with. I got a stuffy for you. I brought you a souvenir. You'll love it. You'll love it. I met giant overgrown dogs. They're called camels. That's right. Yes. 